welcome back to another new world video bit of a shorter one for me but i think this is going to be a pretty decent tip uh for anybody prepping for the expansion and wondering what items to salvage what items to get rid of what items to keep i'm going to specifically be talking about the shield here in this video and i'm going to tell you why also if you want any other expansion prep videos i've got like my ultimate version which i called it uh, i've included everything i possibly can i'll put a little screenshot of it and uh, a link down below check that out if you you know you got a week left until the expansion comes out if you've got anything you want to work on between now and then please check out that video and of course always guys if you like this kind of content and all future content like comment subscribe also in that comment section down below actually if there's anything specific you want me to make videos on at the start of the expansion or between now and the expansion next week please let me know and one more time as always we are pushing on twitch at the moment we're doing really really well the numbers have gone up we're averaging 50s 60s sometimes 70s it's if, if any of you guys want to come over that would be amazing we got nearly 8,000 followers over there so if you see this link section down below uh drop me a follow i'd appreciate seeing you over there right let's talk about shields and why i want to talk about shields so basically i thought of this idea when i was playing the ptr uh so it come to my sort of attention if you like the new loot bias system which is very very cool uh, I was playing Sword and Shield, I was doing the new dungeon, and I had like four or five shields dropped, they were all above 625 gear score, obviously, and uh, these these shields, they some of the perks weren't that good, you know, they were they were basically ran randomized loot, they weren't named items, they definitely weren't uh, art uh, artifacts either, so it just made me think, hang on a minute, so shields right now, should we keep hold of them for the expansion? and here's some thoughts on why we should so the first one is like i was just mentioning that example it might take you a while to get a load of new good shields whether it's round shield kite shield or tower shield now yeah we're gonna get a bunch of new ones higher gear score uh but it might take a while for you to get those really good three perkers if you've already got existing good three perkers i'm just going to show a quick example here where we have both bane and ward on this shield which is also important we're going to mention this in a second but basically keep hold of your shields for now gear score wise you're thinking well liam all your you know all, all your shields are locked at 625 why on earth would you you know keep hold of 625 shields you're instantly going to be getting 630 650 670 680 gear score uh well the thing is don't forget gear scores on shields do not matter so for example if you didn't know this uh even though this is a 625 gear score i've got a random trash one here that i found this is 594 if you look at my overall gear score here it's 625 if i take this one out and put the 594 one in there the gear score never changes obviously your armor values and do and whatever and the perks do of course but uh the gear score doesn't affect your overall gear score so for now until you found those better ones in the expansion content you can get the 625 really good three perks that you've got keep hold of them and take them into the expansion and potentially use them for a little while now let's go back over to two crucial perks here now as we all know well hopefully by the time you're watching this video you know uh bane and ward are being removed from the game so now your next question is well why the hell would i keep bane or ward shields let's just delete them no so i'll bring up the patch notes now this is from the ptr all about the expansion so this is new world's direct direct word here uh, if we start with um ward so basically yes ward you can no longer roll once expansion comes out on any new items so you can never get another ward shield however they are not deleting ward from the game and then giving you no perk in return so the ward on the shield will actually change to health which is actually pretty cool it's one of the meta perks not you know whatever we'll discuss that in another video but it's one of the meta perks you'll now get health perk replacing this ward shield okay and then when we come over to bane yes they are deleting bane but again so you can't obviously drop bane in the expansion but again they're not removing bane from the shield they're actually going to keep a bane they're just going to nerf it a little bit so basically the way we the way, the way they've worked it out here is this 15 percent bane is going to change down to six percent but don't forget bane stacks on top of the perks of your sword now of course bane will stay on your sword but you will be getting much better swords you'll be getting 650s 675 700s whatever uh but once you get your new sword in the expansion whatever perks are on there the bane from the shield will and always has done stack on top of your sword so if your sword is a three perker um you know what, what have you got on there you got enchanted you got vicious you've got refreshing whatever whatever's on there or you go with one of the artifact ones whatever you can put on your shield now will stack on top of that so your ward stacks on top of all your armor and your uh, bane stacks on top of your sword so it's kind of like adding an extra perk to your sword 
so this will so this shield for example will change to uh health instead of the ward and it'll change the bane will stay there but it'll go down to six percent also if you've got any of the shields that have like the defensive um ward resistances on there so you've got like the flame protection the frozen protection slash or thrust protection for example they're actually getting buffed up to 15 percent. so if you've got a more defensive shield maybe like a tower shield uh keep hold of them because if you've got like a really really good tank and shield and it's got ward on there maybe it's even got bane on there or whatever the, the, the flame wards these are and frozen wards these will all go up to 15 percent. again that could mean that, that that perk shield is actually really useful in the start of the expansion it might take you a very long time to get a much much better perk shield and of course the only time this won't become too relevant for you is if in the expansion you really want to utilize some of the new shield perks such as the healing defense or the counter attack uh personally i think counter attacks may be more pvp but whatever it doesn't really matter uh if you're planning on using those massively like they must be in your personal build then fine all of the previous information in this video is not really useful for you however guys i i honestly think this is like a, a mini thing here do not be deleting your shields especially the ones with banes on especially the ones with wards on all the uh, elemental protections or your thrust protection or whatever keep hold of all of your shields and you can use them for sure at the start of the expansion potentially for a lot longer because i don't know how long it's going to take to go a whole brand new set of really good shields and there it is guys a shorter video like i said but please do keep hold of all of your shields i think they'll be genuinely really really uh useful to keep hold of might take you a while to get those other shields we'll see uh the perks won't just be deleted so you're gonna get health instead of ward the bane will still be six percent it's a mini damage bonus for now every percent counts do you know what I mean? when you're trying to keep up that dps uh so yeah th there's my advice to you keep hold of all your shields uh, comment section down below by the way again if you want to see any other videos also what are your best three perk shields that you've got in the game right now and that you're now planning on keeping for the start of the expansion check that out and if you like this content guys sub like all that kind of usual stuff please come and follow me over on twitch that'll be a big massive help as we push towards those bigger numbers on there and you guys can ask as many questions as you want for the expansion and anything else right now uh, i always stream on mondays tuesdays wednesdays fridays and sundays around about 5 p.m 6 p.m uk time that's when i start and uh, yeah guys come check me out on there and i'll see you in the next video